What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTSMobile.com with the Pandemic Corporation and the Silent Alliance here playing some Eve Echoes. I got off work a few minutes ago. Time for some Eve Echoes while my pre-workout kicks in. If I feel like and look like I'm on cocaine, it's because I took some pre-workout and this stuff is no joke. Okay. So, today's video, we are on the test server. We are trying out the Tech Level 9 Procurer. This is the replacement for your Retriever. The Procurer looks a little bit cooler. It looks like Bumblebee on crack, if you're a Transformers fan. And it is uh, a bad uh, Mo Freaker, okay? Got to be YouTube uh, content friendly here. So, um, the Procurer. Let's just start from the top. It can still fit only two drones, two high slots, just like the Retriever. Uh, it still only has one uh, warp stab bonus, um, but the big, the first big difference is going to be in uh, the strip miner yield. So the strip miner yield has increased from 10% per level to 15% per level. It's also based now on the advanced strip mining instead of just the standard regular strip mining bonus. So. You'll get a total of 25% uh, more strip miner yield if your advanced strip mining is level 5, okay? Uh, in addition, it also gives you uh, these wonderful, uh, uh oh, sorry, it also gives you these wonderful uh, drone EHP bonuses. So you can have 100% uh, more drone health. And different from the retriever, it doesn't give you 5% uh, ore hold capacity per level, it gives you 5% shield per level. So this really makes it a very tanky ship, okay? Very tanky, very nice. And this also lends itself to being uh, to having pretty good uh, shield uh, EHP, um, which is going to benefit if you're running two hardeners like I'm doing in this build, okay? Um, so let's just jump right into the rest of this fit guide here. Of course, I'm just running the basic MK9 strip miners uh, with my skills at 554. Uh, I'm at 2698 meters cubed per tick. Okay, uh, in the low slots here, well, the medium slots here, I'll just work our way down. I am running a medium energy newt. You actually have the power grid to run a large uh, energy newt if you wanted. Uh, you'd have to sacrifice one of your low slots for something a little bit, a little bit slightly worse on the tankiness for more newt capabilities. I'm also running a web, and I'm running some MK9 hammerhead drones because YOLO. <sighs> <clears throat> okay, in addition to that, on the low slots, I am running dual hardeners. I have two Type C adaptive and vulnerability fields here. I'm also running a micro warp drive Type C, and I am running a large uh, shield extender. Now, I wanted to bring that up because if you run a medium shield extender, you can run the large neutralizer, or you can run a medium neutralizer with the large extender. Okay, they have similar cap. Uh, similar power grid requirements, the shield's a little bit higher, but long story short, you don't have enough cap to fit both, um, so pick one and fit one. I'm picking this shield health because I'm running dual hardeners and it kind of synergizes nicely, okay? For the rigs, I am running a, uh, a rank one thermal rig, I'm running a rank one EM rig, and I'm running a rank one uh, field extender for more shield hit points, okay? Uh, as far as the mining rigs in the engineering category here, I'm running three efficiency upgrades. And now there's a reason why I'm not running two circulations and one efficiency like usual. Uh, right now, the procurer is bugged. It is a bug that I reported to the devs, but at the moment, the circulation rigs do not affect the procurer. So if uh, day one comes out and you haven't seen an update from me, don't equip your uh, procurer with two efficiency, uh, two circulation rigs because right now, as of today, they don't work. Hopefully these get fixed in the next three or four weeks before people start unlocking Tech 9. Okay. Now, on to the actual uh, effective health of this ship. Let's go ahead and undock. We'll uh, activate the hardeners and we'll take a look at what that, what that really looks like, okay? Wonderful. Oh, that pre-workout tastes terrible. <clears throat> uh. Okay. So we're at 32 cold. What are we at hot, right? That's the question. All right. We are at 57k hot EHP with this build. 
You can see the resistances here are all consistently over 70. So this is a pretty tanky ship. In order to, in DPS is decent. So if a probably if two drones attacked me, I'd probably, I mean, two uh, frigate style ships attacked me, I'd probably win the fight. I have enough EHP and I do enough DPS. I can web and nude them down, that I would be able to fight them off by myself. There are, of course, some frigates that would not work against, but uh, I'd say on average, your average interceptor or something comes in to get you. I'll probably win that fight. Uh, you know, and if they kill my drones, hopefully I have some backup drones in here or I'm good at recalling my drones because once the drones are dead, obviously I have no offensive capabilities. Long story short, this is a tanky ship. Uh, if you farm in numbers, uh, you can virtually guarantee you're not going to have anybody get picked off uh, by the lone, you know, scavenger. So, um, now the reason why I wanted to talk about the large shield extender and the rig, uh, the rig compatibility is because if you are actually using a, uh, not using the large shield extender and you're using a medium or you're going to use a damage control unit, you'll actually get higher EHP using three uh, structure rigs than if you're using the EM rigs. Check this out. You're going to like this. Um, so I'm just going to run through a quick fitting change here for you and you can see what I'm talking about. So let's say you want to run we'll put on the medium here now, I've been wrong before maybe I'm just misremembering the numbers in my brain but I'm gonna put on the medium put on the large uh, we'll get a large neutralizer around there so I can really cap zap anybody who comes to tickle me uh, and then you can see here let's just check out my full EHP here and then we'll switch on the structure rigs and see if I'm full of it or not I am full of it quite often. It's not it's not uh, unheard of, that's for sure. All right. Okay. Excellent. So our EHP is 48161 with the extender. Very nice. Okay. 48. I you know what? I want to say that with the structure rigs I was at 475 or something. So <laughs> maybe they're about the same. Maybe they're about the same. I well, well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. We're gonna put on our transverse bulkhead rigs here. Uh, again, just level ones. Um, I want to make something that's realistic for use in real life. You're not gonna put like Mark III or Mark IV rigs on this thing, right? I mean, if you are and you have enough minor security to do that, great. But if otherwise, you're just looking for a billion dollar kill mail. Um, okay, here we go. Okay. Now check it out. Our cold EHP is pretty high again. Now let's check out the undock. Check out the undock because the structure hit point rig, since my structure base HP is so high, should be pretty close. I don't know if I'm going to beat it. We're going to find out live here on this video. Uh, okay. Oh, way off. I was off. Randy's wrong. Go with the... Uh, Go with the two resistances and the, and the hit point. <laughs> Randy's wrong. I've been wrong before. This was number two. Second time I've been wrong in 2020. It happens. All right. Well, listen. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for indulging me for the last minute there and losing your brain cells as I equip structure rigs <laughs> to my procure. Enjoy the procure when it comes out. Remember, if they haven't fixed the minor circulation, don't waste the rigs because right now they don't work. Okay. Thanks for watching. Love you guys long time. Randy out.